How's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the YL Hogar Outdoor Lamp Post Fixture with Motion Sensor. You'll receive the light fixtures, illustrated instructions, and inside each lamp are the two-piece topper ornaments. Bulbs are not included. Each light fixture is made of metal, and has a permanently attached infrared motion sensor just below the lamp. It wraps around 220 degrees, so just be careful not to grab or hold this part of the fixture to avoid damaging it, since the plastic on the sensor is thin. The inner diameter of the base is 3 inches, so it will only fit 3 inch diameter lamp posts. There are 3 pre-installed screws for attaching it to your post. Inside the bottom, you'll find 3 wires and a bag of wire nuts for installation. The size of the lamp is about 8 inches tall and 4.5 and inches wide at the top. The glass panels have a wavy texture on the inside, but have a smooth exterior surface. The entire housing is made of black powder-coated metal, and on top is a nut for assembling the ornament. The two smaller screws on either side allow you to remove the cover to install a light bulb. Be careful when removing these, so that you don't lose the small rubber washers underneath the cap bolts. Inside you can install any standard E26 light bulb, and there's a small drain hole in one corner in case any water finds its way into the housing. When reassembling, line up the holes on the cover with the two screws on the sides, then replace the rubber washers and cap bolts. To install the topper ornament, place the pyramidal cap over the nut, then thread on the pike and tighten. Before installation, I decided to tape a piece of cardboard around the sensor to reduce the likelihood of damaging it. This step is optional, but I wanted to take the precaution in case I grabbed that part of the fixture by mistake. When wiring your lamp post, be sure the power is switched off at the circuit breaker. Before connecting the white neutral wires together, the live wires, which on mine are red and black, and the bare copper wire is the ground, which will attach to the green ground nut in my lamp post. You may have a green or bare copper wire as a ground in yours. Then place the fixture on top of the post and position the sensor eye to face where you want the light triggered by motion before tightening the three set screws around the base. After you've restored power to the lamp post, we can test the light. Remember, the light will only turn on if it's dark out, and the light detector is embedded in the sensor, so you may need to cover it to make the light turn on, if testing during the day. Here's the light with a warm white LED Edison bulb installed. By default, the light has a dim mode at 30% brightness when no motion is detected. Once movement is detected by the sensor, the light will switch to 100% brightness, and switch back to low brightness after 2 minutes when motion is no longer detected. If you want to disable low brightness, use a wall switch to turn off and on the fixture twice within 2 seconds. The same procedure will turn the low brightness mode back on. You can also manually override the sensor by turning the wall switch off and on once, though note that it still needs to be sufficiently dark out for the light to come on. In this mode, the light will be on at 100% brightness, regardless of motion sensing, for approximately 8 hours or until the sensor detects light at dawn, at which point it will switch back into auto mode. Just remember, when there's enough light hitting the sensor, the light will shut off. The illumination from this lamp is good enough to light the steps, patio, and sidewalk in the area where I have it installed. As I've disabled dim mode, it comes on automatically whenever there's motion at night, and shuts off at dawn, which is exactly what I wanted. Installation was fast and easy, and the fixture itself, though small, casts plenty of light and feels well made. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and join me next time.